you, whoever you are. As you can see, I moved. I hope you guys like the new setup and please enjoy the video. Well, I'm so sorry guys, I just had to do it. I hope nobody lost their appetite. this. Now can we get back to the swing?
And here I'm adding the shimmer and color to the trees, so they give it a more dream-like feel. using the oil wash to make the green really pop. Not with his nasty noise business, stop that! I'm sorry everyone, I won't play that nasty noise again. Or will I? No, no I really won't. Using the plastic bag so the grass won't go everywhere. And it's easier to save and use again. And it still got all over the place. It's terrible cleanup.
So I want to use this for the nice foliage of the trees. It's very small. So I need to add some more branches. Because it's just too spacious. So I need to put one here. One there. One there. But I need my head drill. Branches! Branches! So many branches that you think you have enough, but then you realize, oh no, I need to make more branches. This is a teeny tutorial of how I made the branches. Then I put some epoxy clay on it. I did record me doing it, but I was trying out a new epoxy clay because I, I don't know, I like mistakes, I guess. And then it was having such a hard time sticking to it. It was just terrible. You wouldn't have wanted to see that. Here's the one in the little tutorial. As you can see, there's two different clays on there. I should have just stuck with the original. Sometimes I just like to go crazy, I guess. I put some epoxy clay just to join it so it can look more seamless.
the base is finished. I liked how it turned out though, even though it gave me a lot of trouble. I think it portrays the feeling I wanted to get of a dreamy scape. And one more thing about the mushrooms, they glow. Like if you want to, subscribe if you like us, click the bell to get notified when we have new videos up, follow our socials for more art doll content. Thank you all so very much for watching. Bye!